The highly contagious avian flu is having a devastating impact on Minnesota raptors. The University of Minnesota Raptor Center has reported 23 positive cases of bird flu in bald eagles, red-tailed hawks, and great horned owls. Those numbers are from the last three weeks. Kay Raditz has more on how the strain of bird flu is having an impact beyond poultry. They're just very majestic and, and gorgeous. Great horned owls are a special sight at Lake Nokomis in Minneapolis if you're lucky enough to see them. And you always know when the, when the babies are here and where the owls are at, everybody lets everybody else know. But the community is mourning the loss of a beloved family of owls that lived in this tree near the lake. The owls died from bird flu or had to be put down because they were too sick. The word I would use is devastating. Uh, these birds are coming in having incredible seizures, they're unable to stand, they're vocalizing. Um, they're kind of in end stages of this virus. The Raptor Center has set up a new triage and quarantine center to take care of sick birds coming in. This time, bird flu has killed millions of domestic poultry, but is also having a major impact on wild birds like owls, eagles, and hawks. We have not seen this much transmission to raptors before in a highly pathogenic avian influenza outbreak. Uh, so this is pretty concerning. 90 to 100 percent of the raptors testing positive at the raptor center have not survived, and some organizations are not able to take sick birds in. The Wildlife Rehabilitation Center of Minnesota announced they are not currently admitting susceptible species for treatment. The virus is extremely contagious to other birds. Dr. Hall says historically the problem tends to get better in the early summer months. A cool, wet environment like this type of spring we're having can prolong how long the virus can survive. Kate Raditz, WCCO 4 News. The state has set up a new hotline where you can report sick birds, and you can find that on our website at WCCO.com. The Minnesota Board of Animal Health reports the virus has infected 40 sites across 17 counties. So far, nearly 2 million birds have been euthanized as officials try to slow the spread. Bird flu has also been reported in seven Wisconsin counties, including two in the western part of the state. Polk and Barron counties both have outbreaks at commercial farms.